Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to this week's Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with you guys. This kit is Together Wolves by James Magger. So this one is a round drill kit. We can see that here from this pink circle. And the dimensions of this kit, it is 20 by 26 inches or 50.7 by 65.8 centimeters. And I'll just give you a quick look at the box. It does have the pink theming since this is a round drill kit. It has some information on the back and a coupon on the side here for you to scan. And I'm gonna quickly remove this plastic. All right, we are ready to check out what is inside this box. The release information for this kit is going to be tomorrow for the release. That is Saturday, April the 15th, and it will be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members or 30 minutes later for the general access release. I've just pulled out the toolkit here. We are going to take a look inside that bag in just a minute. And then here is our canvas with the drills wrapped inside here and then the smaller sticker coming out last this time so here is another view of that gorgeous image so this smaller sticker here you can peel this off and put this on the side or the bottom of of your box if that helps you with your storage situation you can also use this in a logbook or any use that you would like to use it for and now I am going to open this up and get everything out so we can take a look at it. Here is the contents of that toolkit. So this is going to contain everything you need to get started diamond painting and a few little extras. So this is a bag of baggies. You can use this for kitting up or for storage. Then we have, of course, our diamond painting pin with this comfy little grippy or squishy that you can put over it. This one is this pretty orange with this glitter inlay. The color does vary, but they're all really pretty. Then we've got multi-placers, a seven and a four placer if you like to multi-place. We have got a diamond painting tray with a stopper there to keep your drills in place. And we have got this cute container here. This has your wax inside. Cute little lid to keep it secure. And then our little extras here. We've got a washi tape. Oh, look at the little hearts. Oh, that is very pretty. Kind of Valentine's-ish and I love it. So washi is typically used around the edge of your diamond painting canvas. There's a little sticky edge that sits outside of the drill field and you can keep it covered with this. That way your hand isn't constantly sticking to it or any other things that are undesirable sticking to it like pet hair or dust, you can keep it covered. You can also use this to section off your diamond painting in whatever way that you would like. And then we have a cover minder. Look at the cute little face. Oh, I love that. So the cover minder is gonna have two magnets on the back that separate just like that. So you'd put the smaller one underneath your diamond painting canvas and then you'll pull that plastic cover back to where you want to work and then you'll just put that one on top. The two will snap back together and it'll hold that plastic out of your way while you're diamond painting. All right, I've put the toolkit away. Now we get to open this lovely bag and see the goodies that came in here. I'm gonna grab the canvas. I feel the drill sliding around in there. I don't know which end they're gonna wanna come out of. Let's try this one. There they are. Okay, now before we do the big reveal of the canvas, let's look at these items real quick. Starting with the drill packaging, which I am almost tearing open. I think I saved it there. Okay, so there's a couple of bags of 310 there I can spot. Look at those lovely blues. Oh, those are pretty. I am definitely holding this upside down. No, I'm not. Now I've made those upside down. 
we are going to look at all of these drills one by one in just a minute. I just like to give you the presentation of all of them at once. I just, for whatever reason, that just really gives me like a vibe of the whole kit. And I do want to point out this label here. So if you do store your canvas and your drills separately, then you've got this label here. Diamond Art Club so kindly puts this so that you can match them up if you store them in two different places. I do that and that label has saved me so many times. And then we also get this thank you booklet on the inside here is some useful information. You've got some QR codes that you can scan. This one will take you to a video with some instructions on how to diamond paint. This one takes you to the VIP Facebook group, which I highly recommend. Lots of good info there. You've got a coupon code and then on the back you can use the QR code that matches up with your phone and you can get the Diamond Art Club app. And then We've got this larger sticker sheet here and you can see that image even bigger. My goodness, gosh, they're so pretty. I love that. And you've got a start and end date here. Other than that, this is the same information as on the smaller sticker, but since you've got this, you can track your progress here. So this might be a better one for your log book if you keep a log book. And then we've already discussed the dimensions and the drill shape, but that is listed there again for you. And then over here, we can see that we have 44 colors. So these are your stickers to put on your containers when you're kitting up. So each one of these peels off individually there so it can go on its own container. So 44 colors, how many ABs? Every color code here under 150, is an AB. So it looks like we have two ABs there and we will see what those are whenever we go through the drills, but I just wanted to let you know how to figure that out. And now we can open up this canvas. We might have to do some adjusting with the camera, but I'm just going to roll it out right now so that we can take a look and then we will adjust as needed. Oh, look at the faces. Oh, I love their eyes. Oh, I love this rendering. It's so good. Okay, I think I've shown you the whole thing, but obviously we're a little bit sideways. So I am going to take a minute, adjust the camera, probably give you a full overhead view because I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit it all in the frame. Also, I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna roll it backwards to help it flatten out a little bit. Diamond Art Club canvases will flatten out on their own if you leave them alone, but to quicken that process, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it. And since this is a poured glue canvas, that's not going to hurt it. So see you in just a second with this the right way. <laughs> I am really, really loving the color work in this. I know whenever you look at the original image, you definitely get drawn to that blue, that bright blue in the background, which I think that that has been rendered beautifully. But something that I didn't notice fully whenever I was looking at the original image is that beautiful tree in the background. And I see some brighter greens that are gonna give that a pop. So that is going to be really detailed. And of course, I love the wolves. The looks on their faces is rendered to perfection. The detail there, I do notice some confetti-ish areas. I wouldn't call it heavy confetti, but I'm sure that some people would say that's a good bit of confetti for them. So I definitely want to give you a closer look at those areas just so you have an idea of what you are seeing as far as confetti goes. I really do feel like there are a lot of, of lines of multiple. It's not just tiny confetti pops all over the place. I think that you, you could still use your multi-placer for many of these areas, though I do think it's, it's more on the side of confetti than color blocking, but that is where your detail is going to come in. So you're going to see these lovely wolves in that beautiful detail there because you have a bit more confetti. And I do, I we are going to look at where the ABs go, but I'm thinking that they are placed in beautiful 
highlights here. I really, I, I'm just getting glimpses as I'm looking at it, but we will go into that way more later. So I do want to tell you, you've got legends here on both sides in case you like to flip your canvas around. You'll still be able to access that. Then down here, you have got your title again and your dimensions again. And then also this licensing information. So this right here is just letting you know that the artist has given permission and is being compensated for the use of their artwork. So if that is important to you, that is where you can find that information. Also, there's a coupon code down here if that is interesting to you. And here is some information about Diamond Art Club socials if you would like to take a look at that. So the next thing we are going to do is to look at the drills one by one. And I know that this is not for everyone. Not everybody likes to sit through that. So I will have a timestamp down below where you can skip to the next section of the video where we're gonna look at where those ABs go for sure this time. I will actually find the symbols on the canvas instead of just guess. 3790. 762, 319, 841, 312, 799, 839, 803, 898, 415, 938, 890, 322, 939, 336, 3799, 318, 3371, two bags of 310. Okay, you guys, this is the first time that I have unboxed a kit with Diamond Art Club's new special drills. So let me backtrack a little bit. I'm going to set this strand down. And I'm going to grab that larger sticker sheet again. I was fiddling with these stickers right here. And I didn't even notice that these had some special labeling here. So this 44th color here is Z910. And then above it, we have L783. This is the indicator that these are special drills. And I just overlooked that entirely. So let me pick this up again and let me show you so this is that l783 this is an iridescent drill so this is a new type of special drill from diamond art club and you can see these have kind of a crystal effect that is it's so pretty it just looks like jewels in there oh i love 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 that so we will look at where these go also whenever we're looking at where the ab's go and then also we have this Z910. So this is a fairy dust drill. So these are similar to the AB drills, which we will talk about in a second, but the coating is a little bit more subtle and has a different effect. It's a, fairy dust is a great name. Like I feel like that is the most descriptive term that you can give to these. It just looks like a little sprinkle of fairy dust on the top of the drill. Just a little glitter there and it gives it such a pretty shine. And I love that it's green. I'm wondering if that's gonna be in the background tree in that section that I was saying kind of popped out more to me in the canvas than it did in the original image, and I was excited about that. So we will see if that is where that ends up being placed. Anyway, back to our original programming. We have got 414, 317, and 413. 3855, 400, 153, 402, 3781, 301, 3325, 3875, 300, 3776, 106. So, oh, and 141. So here's our two ABs right together. So let me get this where you can kind of see the coating here. And you can see that it does differ from that fairy dust that we looked at. It, this one has more of an iridescent coating. 
And AV does stand for Aurora Borealis. So that Northern Lights effect is kind of what you achieve with these drills. So we've got this pretty white and then also this kind of creamy ivory color. And then 644 and 318. 611, 909, 3787, 3782, 794. And that is all of the drills. So if you have skipped to here, then welcome back. Now we are going to look at where all of those special drills go. I have separated them here. We've got the two ABs and then the iridescent and the fairy dust. So we'll start with the ABs. We will look at where this 106 is going to go. This is symbol number one. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There it is. So that one does seem to be used as an outline or highlight, whichever you might want to say it as. Here is some of that number one symbol there. And up through here, it kind of goes all through the chest of this wolf. And then, moving, moving on up here. It also is kind of on the tippy top of the head there and a little bit starting to go down his or her back a little bit. And then over here again, we have some of those ones on the top here, just a few little pops around here. And I think from just glancing that, that there's gonna be another, the other AB intermixed here a little bit, but I think you get the idea of how that one is being used. There are a few other little pops there. There's one right there. And I don't think I see any in their sweet, sweet faces. I don't know if wolves would appreciate me calling them sweet, but I just, I really, I really think that they look sweet. <laughs> But I think that is all of that first one. So the next symbol to look at will be for this 141 that I've turned upside down. So that'll be the white AB. And that is just this dot symbol. So we saw a lot of that in the top of the wolf on the left when we were kind of looking at those ones you can see some spots that have that dot symbol as well traveling like all through here some in here and then this one is present more on the face there's one little one one of the ones and one of the dots in the nose and then this one's also in the eye there let's check out this wolfie I'm so sorry. I feel if giving them cuteness seems like it's it's disrespectful to a wolf, but I can't help it. I think they're lovely. And then also there are some of those dots. It doesn't look like there's as many in this wolf, but on the face for sure they're in the whiskers and then again in the eyes. There's a little line right there. Let's check out the chest area. I don't think I see any there. Okay. These are small bags of AB. Oh, one other spot I want to check. Like these little stars. Yes. Okay. So that is the white AB as well. You see the little dots there. That is also going to be that white AB. Okay. So now we can look at these other special drills. So first we will do the iridescent, this L783. Let me, I don't want to try to describe to you what this symbol is. I'll just show it to you. It's going to be this symbol right here. And I can see at least the first place that it is. It might be the only place, but oh my gosh. Whoops, I just dropped it. What a perfect place. The eyes. Oh my gosh, they're going to glow. Oh, I love that. And over here in this one too. Oh, that is going to look so good. I'm so excited about that. And just at a quick glance, I think that is the only place that those are. And I think that that is spot on. That is absolutely perfect placement for that. And then we have the 
Z910, this pretty fairy dust drill that is that lovely green. And this one is going to be the T symbol. So let me go explore this tree up here. While I accidentally hit the camera a couple of times, I apologize. There it is. Oh, I love that. So you can see that T symbol. I mean, it, there, there are other like lighter greens, this F symbol that are kind of intertwined with it, but that T is going to be the fairy dust drill. And it seems like there's quite a bit of it. Oh my goodness. That is so exciting. I'm glad like that I spotted this part that my eye was drawn here already. And to think that we're going to put a special drill there. Oh, that just makes my day. So you can see it's it's dispersed everywhere. I don't know if I pointed out every single one, but I think that you can get the the general idea of how that is going to look on the canvas. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Okay, you guys, I think I have shown you everything that I can about this canvas. I hope that you have fallen as in love with it as I have. If you have and you are planning to try to snag this one, make sure that you know your release window and you are either signed up to get notifications or emails or text messages or that you have your alarm set for whatever time that you need to get up to be ready. But this one will be releasing tomorrow and it is an absolute stunner. I mean, it speaks for itself. I don't have to keep telling you that it's a stunner. It definitely doesn't need my help to tell you that. Okay, you guys, that is it from me for now. Thank you again, Diamond Art Club, for sending me this kit to share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!